Hey guys, my name is Amber, and for today's video, I'm doing a book unboxing haul thing. So I'm gonna be like showing you the items after. So I guess it's a haul too, but it's mainly like a book unboxing because I show you my reaction after I receive a whole bunch of book packages that I should not have purchased, but I did. Now, all of this wasn't filmed at once. It's just like as I slowly received the packages, I sh like recorded myself every single time I received a new package. So let's just get straight into the first clip. Okay. Don't touch me because this is the only headband I could find. But anyways, let's get to the exciting part. So I'm literally like, the mail just got here. Like I'm so excited because I ordered this on like Monday and it's Friday right now and I, I have Prime. I have Prime and so I have two day shipping. But of course Hurricane Dorian was like, oh, I'm coming. So then everybody was too scared to give me my mail. But it never even came anyway. So they were scared for no reason. But anyways, keep going on rants. I'm not going to tell you which book so you could be surprised too, but I'm so excited because I've been like anticipating this book for so long and I have, I'm, I'm ready. Like I have the audiobook for it and I'll have the book and I'm ready to begin like now. So let's unbox this. Ah, it's up and down. Still. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, it is so beautiful. Little, little damage to it, like in the corners and stuff, but like not crazy damage, like not something I would have, like I probably would end up have done doing this myself at some point to it. It's so simple, but yet I'm like in love and just, I love like this kind of like, I don't know if that's a trope. I think it is. It's like when they like have to get married or whatever. I don't like love, hate like this. And then like, I, I think it's a love to hate relationship too. So... I'm so excited to read this book like oh I've been waiting for this for so long and it's finally here there goes my reaction to getting this I want to start this like now but I have an arc I need to finish I'm so sad if I would have done my work on time like done what I have planned on time I could be reading this right now but I didn't so Okay, now there's a whole bus of children in front of my window right now watching me. Alright, so it's a new day and we have some new packages. So, let's just get into it. The first one, there's some like, book. there's one bookish item and then the other two are books, but... <sighs> this is just inspired by the, um, what's it called? Avatar The Last Airbender readathon. Like, ever since I've rewatched the show, like, I have a whole new appreciation for... Like, I don't understand why I never rewatched it because I loved it as a kid, but I never rewatched it because I was just like, I don't know, maybe I got over it, but I don't know. This came in such nice, like, packaging. Like, she, the person who sold me this really made sure this was not going to dent, which I appreciate that, but this is so nice. And now I have one of those little, um, um, book thingies oh it's from um what is this called fairy loot or something oh my gosh it's not even that fancy but like i can like put a book in here like that's so cute and then here's where the item is oh i love zuko like his um what's it called character development through the show is just like iconic and i love him so much i used to when i was younger he was my favorite character and like when I rewatched it, I was like, I wonder if he's still gonna be, and I was just like, but oh, stop yourself there. Yes, he still is your favorite character. And this is the fairy loot little um, thing with him on it. And then there's a little like comic thing on the back. It's so cute. I can't wait to like put it on my wall and, or like put it on my bookshelf or something. Like, oh, it's so freaking cute. I'm so glad I got this. She, like, five stars to this girl who um, sent me that. So, okay. So we're already like super happy. Okay, so next, I think. These books I bought, I've already read them, but like after reading them, I was like, yes, five stars. I need my own copy now so I can annotate it. And so I can't wait to reread it. And now I have my own copy, copies, because I still have another item after this one. Y'all didn't even just see that. Like, oh, and I have allergies. Like, uh, so much stuff just flew out. I 100% doubt the camera caught that. Oof. And it's still flying everywhere. Dang it. But there's, like, this stuff in here. 
which is good because it like cushions the book but still I didn't realize that ah uh, it's everywhere well anyways oh it's getting on the book I got Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson I read this book I got it from the library it was so good and I need my own copy like yesterday so yes I'm so excited I have this now to be on the shelf and I can't wait to reread it and annotate it such a good book okay oh my god this stuff like the camera i doubt is catching it but like it's everywhere Ugh. again i'm glad that the like the person got good packaging but oof, still okay last thing that i have for today is this book of the month box and um yes i'm super excited but how do you open it Wow. I'm genuinely so confused. Oh, I think I found it. I'm so dumb. It's like I'm not showing you guys me unboxing. I don't like it. Evelyn Hugo. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was such a good book. Like, if you haven't read it and you're watching this, read it. Because it's good. I feel like I've heard only, like, one person talk about how they, like, dislike this book. So, I don't even remember the reasons, but they probably weren't good. No, I'm just kidding. But I suggest watching it. I mean, reading it, because it's 10 out of 10. Would recommend yes i'm so excited what is this the last time i did book of the month i get this yeah i don't know what that is but and the book of the month copy is so cute because it has a little thing so let's see it about the best one here. Ooh, so this one came out in um june 2017 so this is an old one but i'm so happy i have it and i can't wait to annotate it myself exciting it's exciting days ahead but yes those are the three things i got i got seven husbands of evelyn hugo sorcery of thorns and this very adorable little picture thing of zuko that i can't wait to put up and yeah i also wanted to show you guys another thing that i got that i didn't record but i got it before um the books that i just showed you and i didn't think to record my reaction but this is also like something i bought from someone who didn't want it from that they got from fairy loot and i was just so happy that i was able to get it and it's these little tarot cards of harry and that one says the hanged man and then this one of hermione that says the star and they're just so cute and i have this one on my shelf next to my little harry potter books and this one i have actually on my wall on this cute little decorations that i have and i put it right there. And I just put my little Hermione one right there. Super cute. Okay guys, so now for the big box that I literally just got two seconds ago from Book Outlet. Um yeah. There was no sale going on or anything, but I was just like their books are so cheap, so I just went on a rampage. And bought I think the most I've bought is like ten books. We'll find out, but I shouldn't have bought in more than 10. We got the receipt with a lot of books. Not good, but okay. Way and this way. and I'll just start taking things out of the box. So first two books that I feel like I should just show together um, are Anne of Avonlea, if I'm saying that right, by Ellen Montgomery, and Anne of the Island by 
by L.M. Montgomery. So yeah, I read the first book and it was super good and I want to see what happens. So I got the next. I think these are the last two books. I'm not 100% sure, but they should be the last two books. So I got them and they're super cute editions too. So and I got them for so cheap. I'll tell you the... I got those for three eighty nine and then three twenty nine. So super cheap for both of them. Got them each for basically three bucks. Okay, next book I see is Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. I have the first book, Truth Witch, but and I have a feeling I'm gonna really like it. And I haven't read it yet, but I just have a feeling I'm gonna like it. So I just got the second one because it was so cheap. How much did I get that one for? I got it for three eighty nine. So like another book for three bucks. So we got some good deals. Next, I got Always and Forever by <laughs> Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han, and yeah, it's a paperback edition. I had the first, or I have the first book and the second book, or I just got rid of the second book actually because I didn't like that one as much, and I wouldn't want to reread that one. But I, when I read the third book, I really liked it, so I got my own copy for that one. So I just have the first and second one, but I don't have the second one. I mean, first and third one, but I don't have the second one because I didn't like that one that much. But yeah, I'm super happy I have this one to write in and annotate whenever I want to reread it. That one I got for. 389 as well next i have starry eyes by jen bennett and yeah i've just heard a lot of good things I, like it's a good like contemporary romance book so i heard it's really good and i'm super excited to get into it Ooh, it's like a nice purple i like this nice everything came like good quality so that's good i mean for the most part like they all have like this on it but like who's really looking that hard at the books that one i got for 3.89 next this one i'm so excited for i got a curse so dark and lonely by bridget kemmer i've heard such good things about this and i heard it's also um a beauty and the beast retelling and i love beauty and the beast so much so we're excited for that i'm literally i'm so nosy i can see my... there's like people outside right now and i'm just like casually watching them i'm so creepy Next, we got Nice Try. Oh, the last one I got for um, 7 dollars but we're going to count it, like, for cheap. Because I still got so many books. Like, I'll tell you how many I got after, but, like, for the amount I paid, we, we and I had a coupon code, so then I got cheaper. So it's just, like, these deals. Um, I forgot who. I think it was Emma Books or something. She hyped this book up so much and it just seemed really interesting so i got it and they had it in hardback so good deal this one i got for 5.99 i believe but still a good deal i don't mind so next i got all in pieces by suzanne young and another like romance contemporary book that i've heard is good like i think it's a really old book but still like i, I think i got i got this book for one dollar and 29 cents and it's a hardback so i'm like couldn't pass up that deal the summary seemed really interesting so i just got that seems good and next, I got Stay Sweet by Siba. Oh, I'm not going to even try to say that name, but you, you see the name. You probably know the name. Yeah, uh, I got this for $1.89 as well. And I've heard this, like, a lot of people talk about this book. I think this is another old book, but, like, a lot of people like it, like, for a good romance. And I'm all, I'm there for the romance. So, yeah, I got that one. Super cheap. Glad I got that. And the last book is one that my friend, like, really hyped up. And so yeah hopefully i like it it's called onyx and ivory by mindy arnett and i haven't heard anyone talk about this but my friend really liked this and so yeah i got it and yeah this one came in good condition as well i haven't even been checking to see this one's white oh it's so nice with like gold lettering so pretty yeah sorry i'm also not saying like any summaries because honestly i don't know the summaries for most of these books because i just kind of like these were all suggested basically to me from other people for the most part or i've just seen a lot of people talking about them so i'm like let me get them um this book was 4.89 i think so like these deals were so good so i've gotten a lot of books let's see how many i got one two three four five six seven eight nine I literally guessed right. I got exactly 10. I was like, it shouldn't be more than 10. I really thought I was going to have 8. I don't know why. I had the number 8 in my head and I was like, this is 8 books. Like, it can't be more than 10. Well, I got 10 books. I'm, and I, all for all of them. Like, I'm super excited to read all of them. And, yeah, I'm super happy. I'm 
please someone stop me if i try to get any more books like i'm done for the most part all the books that i should be receiving after this are like all pre-orders that i've done so i've like i pre-ordered Way wayward son so yeah i should be getting that and then i pre-ordered um gosh dang it that what's this uh children of like vengeance or something why did i forget the name um but it's the next book after children of blood and bone the sequel why am i not remembering i'm such a big fan but yeah those are the two last books i should be receiving and for the like the only other book that i plan oh i'm also receiving soon nevernight and god's grave but those are already paid for so after this no no more books library or my own literal library that i have in this big bookshelf with all these books now should be the only books that i should be buying or reading or anything like that so if anyone catches me slipping please stop me because the bank account is kind of hurting but also not really because like i seriously got these for such a good deal and the expensive books like this one which was like not that expensive was i mean for like the deals that i was getting this was expensive compared to all the other books which was like this one was like 7.99 so like eight bucks it like the other books that were like one dollar made up for it so i didn't really mind but yeah i got 10 books for like 35 dollars i think so do the math on that and it's super cheap and i'm super happy that i have all these now so yes all right so here's another package i received to unbox i'm so excited so this one actually is from book depository this is my first ever like package that i'm like receiving from them i'm like trying to like cover my address but yeah this is my first ever two packages that i received from them Ooh, i like that they have um i've never done this before what is this called like oh that's that's satisfying i think every package should have that Alrighty, so I wanted these editions because the UK editions I just thought were cuter. So I got them. Actually, this is the second book, so lol. I got a $100 wine voucher. I don't drink wine. Okay, and I got a cute little book depository bookmark. It's cute. I'll show this after because I mean, I feel like I should show the first book first. But y'all, it looks so good. I hope I got the same edition oh no but yeah i wanted the uk paperbacks because one they were cheaper and then two they were just way i like um like what is it called animation like i like the car i like cartoon covers rather than like real people covers like i like drawn covers not real people just a preference i'm so happy okay got another one of those things Let's take out okay i'll just take out the book never night so i got the uk paperbacks and then i got god's grave i'm so excited that i got these and they look so good and i can't wait to put them on my shelf and yes i've heard nothing but good stuff about this series and the covers just like drew me in like oh can we not like it looks so good so I was just like, I have to get copies of those for myself. And I know the third one just came out. I think it's the last, the last one had come out already. So like, by the time I finish these, I think the paper, paperback will be available in the UK edition. And I can finally get, I can get that too. Um, cause I, I doubt, I have way too many books that I haven't read to, um, to finish these before that comes out. So by the time I finish these, I can get that one too. And I'm just so excited. The only thing I'm scared about is that these are not like floppy paperbacks. And so that means that the spine, unfortunately, will probably crack, which sucks. But this edition is still so pretty, so I don't care. Uh, maybe one day, if I'm like truly invested, I'll get the um, UK hardcovers, if that's even available. I think it is. I think I saw that online. Um, but yeah, I might get those if I'm like truly invested in the series and I'm like, sis this is so good but we shall see but yeah i just show you guys me opening this and i'm so happy and i can't wait to get to it um hopefully soon sooner than later all right so it's a new day and please ignore my hair my maybe my voice everything because i literally just woke up from a nap and then i woke up from the nap with the package apparently so yes i received the package this is because i want a giveaway i've literally never won a giveaway in my life so that was really random but yeah let's open oh i didn't open it right all right so it's a paperback copy and it's floppy i like it okay um yeah a paperback copy of to kill a kingdom and honestly i was gonna not buy it. i was gonna actually like one day just 
if I ever felt like it, go to the library and get this. But since I got it for free, I'm gonna give away. Like, I'm glad I got it. And I was interested, so now I have a copy and now I have the ability to read it now. And I'm super excited. I'll put, um, um, the person's information that I won the giveaway from. Um, yeah, I don't want to say her name because I'm gonna mess it up. So it's a hard name. But it's very unique and pretty, but, like, I'm gonna mess up that name. So, yeah. But she was so kind to get to give me this. And, yeah, I'm so glad I won. So random that I won. I was not expecting that. But, hey. Um, and, yeah, now I have this book. Alright, so it's official. This is the last, like, package of me for me to open. Uh, and I, I don't even know if I mentioned what book I was getting, but you'll see. That is so satisfying. It's official. Came out today, September 24. It's way smaller than I thought it would be. But it looks so good. I love the yellow. Oh, that's so cute. And then these end pages. So cute. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. Alright, well that's official. It's the last package for this video. And thank you for watching this journey with me as I unbox things all throughout September. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below how much money you think I wasted. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.